Months ago, a judge ruled felons must have all their fines and fees paid off before they could cast their ballots. Since then, donations have been pouring in from around the country to give them the chance to make their voices heard. Now, the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, along with the support from celebrities and generous donors, paid off fines and fees for more than 40,000 returning citizens statewide by raising $27 million. The group says more than 90,000 donors chipped in to make it all happen. News 6's Jerry Askin starts off our team coverage in Orlando tonight. And Jerry, this has really been an historic effort. Ginger, you know, really a big day and a historic day for so many returning citizens after a long time coming. Many of them, as you mentioned, are voting for the first time ever. Now, right now we're at a hotel off of I Drive where the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, they're hosting a free to vote watch party here tonight. You can see the state, well, the t um, tables here are being set up right now. And here's some video we shot just a few hours ago. There are buses leaving the FRRC headquarters in Orlando on their final bus tour trying to encourage those last minute returning citizens to vote today. This coming after Amendment 4 passed back in November of 2018, then some back and forth in court, which ended with convicted felons being able to vote, but they had to first pay off their fines and fees to do so. And that's where groups like the FRRC stepped in and have paid off fines and fees for over 40,000 returning citizens. Desmond Mead helped lead the effort. Because if we change at least one person's life, it was well worth it. But what I know is that we've had hundreds of thousands of people whose lives have changed, who have now have hope, who believe that they're a part of this democracy, and it can't get any better than that. Yeah, a big day again for these returning citizens. Desmond Mead told me of the 1.4 million Floridians who were returning citizens, hundreds of thousands of them were qualified to vote. As long as their fines and fees were paid off, again, we're at a hotel courtyard off of I Drive, waiting for the free to vote watch party to begin at 7 o'clock. And of course, we'll bring you all live coverage throughout the night. For now, we're live in Orlando. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.